Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies, and this video adds on to the information from a previous video where I added an Excel table from Microsoft Excel and inserted it into an Autodesk Inventor drawing. Now, I'll show how you can edit that Excel table and use it to link across multiple drawings. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Here, I have a preferred vendor list for a series of woodworking projects that I'm working on, and this list has been referenced into two different inventor drawings by using the standard inventor table tools. However, I've run into what you might call a situation. One of my vendors, Reed Wood Supply, has recently been purchased by another company known as Blue Sun. I have to go ahead and update that preferred vendor list to make sure it reflects the new company name instead of the old, outdated information. And here's how that linked Excel chart can help me out. Here, I'm looking at the Excel table imported into an inventor drawing using Inventor's Table Tools. To access and edit the Excel table, I can go to the Drawing Browser, make sure I expand the third party icon, select the Excel table, right click on it, and choose Edit. That will go ahead and open up my Excel chart, where I can go ahead and rename Reed Wood Supply to Blue Sun by, for example, using Excel's Find and Replace features. Once the changes are made, save and close the Excel table. If the Inventor table doesn't automatically update, right click on it, choose Update, and you can go ahead and reflect the changes. Next, I'll switch to the other drawing that references the Excel table and make sure that the changes have been made there. But now, we've seen how that central point of information is reflected in both these drawings. If there are more drawings, it would also update those as well. But as they like to say in every infomercial, but wait, there's more. Let's say for the sake of discussion that one of these projects requires this standard vendor list but also has some additional information on top of it. I can go ahead and right click on one of the tables and choose edit and edit the table within Inventor and within Inventor only. What this lets me do is I can add additional information unique to this drawing and this drawing only while still referencing the linked data that's common to all the drawings. So, what's the advantage of taking this approach? By using Excel, I'm able to create a consistent, centrally controlled table of information where I can make sure that every drawing is using the same consistent piece of information. However, by retaining the ability to edit it within Inventor, I can append information to that consistent table that reflects the needs of an individual drawing that may need to deviate or append information that still retains a standard but also adds more information to it. So go ahead and take a look at this approach. While it may not be for everybody, I think it's something that can have a lot of advantages when you're trying to maintain a certain amount of consistency, yet flexibility, with your documents. Thank you for watching everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.